Hey everybody in YouTube land, this is your friend, aka Richard, ECW fan. And I've got another Back Issue Finds update, and this one actually is being recorded right after I picked these up. And uh, I went to the flea market today, and at Happy's Flea Market, and I didn't have Eddie with us, and uh, I didn't have him with me. I went last week with him, and uh, I just rode down. My mom was wanting to get out, walk around the flea market a little bit, and I said, okay, we'll go down early this morning. I'm just, you know, I'm a little bit wore out, but I'm kind of glad I went because I scored some good stuff. I mean, you never would imagine there was this lady there selling some good stuff, and it surprised me, and I wish I had made a tour sooner because she said she had more stuff than what I found. And uh, it really made me, like, do a double take. I mean, you've, you've seen it, you know... I'm not talking to Aaron Rodgers discount double take. I'm talking a, a double take of like what she could have had. Because she said, I sold two or three big bags of stuff already. And I'll just, I'll go on, okay. I'll t This ain't it. These are issues I bought from the guy I usually buy there. His name's Justin. You've seen the video of the basement. He's got some good issues every now and then. And the, I had, you know, I saw this one in there for a dollar. It's Karate Kid number two. I have number one. And I want to always want number two. And I, I always I like this issue with uh, he's got the major disaster. He's facing major disaster. And I always like major disaster. Moving on, I got Fantastic Four number five seventy two. And I know this ain't an old issue, but I had to fill in some Fantastic Four runs. And this gives me the first sixteen issues that uh, Kirk or Hickman done. This is Jonathan Hickman his run of Fantastic Four, which is really good. And, you know, it's a classic run, and I wish he had stayed on the title longer, but he got bigger and better books, like Avengers, and, you know, something I had to give, and Fantastic Four was one of them, which is kind of sad, because I wish he would have stayed a little bit longer. Here's issue 603. Now, this is his second Fantastic Four-type run deal, because it come back at 600, and I'm, I'm missing some issues. I'm missing maybe three more issues, and I'll have an entire Fantastic Four run. I don't care about the FF... I got the first 12 issues of it, and I wasn't really, you know, I didn't like the artist after some issues in. It looked really bad, and it irked me. Now, this is another one I picked up off out of Justin's booth, and this is Dazzler, number 38. Now, I'm not a big Dazzler fan, but I do like when the X-Men show up here. And I said, I'm going to get that issue, because I've got the last issue, and I've got the first, and I've got, I think I've got one where Spider-Man shows up. But I don't have them with the X-Men. I was like, you know, this is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up for a dollar. Another dollar find was Wonder Woman, number 313. The classic Wonder Woman series from the 80s. And this one is just kind of unique for the fact that uh, at the time, Wonder Woman, you know, you know, this title was getting ready to be, you know, revamped. And 16 more issues later, it would end. And I just want to get the run in here, you know, because... Around this time, she she told her secret identity to Steve Trevor, and I want to get this run, and because it looks like a classic type run, of stories, and uh, it's got Circe, or Circe, you know I'm not really good at pronouncing names, so you had to pardon me on that. And the biggest find from Justin's booth, and I've scored these last time, and you'll see them in a future video, because I'm gonna upload this one first, but you'll see that I scored a bunch before this, I scored. Another official Overstreet Price Guy, comic book price guy, hardback. This is number 20. I'm, I'm enjoying getting these old uh, Overstreet Price Guys, and I only paid a dollar for it. It's in great condition. I put a bag and board around it. And, you know, I put a bag and boards around the other ones. I got two soft covers, and I put three hard covers. Or was it three soft covers and two hard covers? You know, you'll see in the future video. But I like this flash cover, and I like... The Justice League of America, and here's Superman and Batman down here at the bottom. And, it, you know, I really like these old overstreets, and I have three or four before this, before I start buying these off him, and he had a bunch. He's like, man, he said, you should have told He said, I've had these underneath the table, and he said, I just couldn't, nobody ever wanted them. And I was like, man, you you ain't talking to me then, because, you know, I love overstreet price guys, and I love the, the artist. I've got one with uh, the spirit. I got hit, I got hit drawn in by Will Eisner, and I've got another one with uh, I think Captain America and Neymar, but it's it's been a while. But now moving on to the good stuff. Now this is the stuff I found off that woman's booth, and I paid three dollars a piece, and 
I'm kind of happy I did because there's a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I don't ever heard of this title. This is the premiere issue of Monster Fantasy. My father, Peter Lorre. <laughs> it's still War Headquarters. See, cre see Creatures at Space Schools. Frankenstein's latest monster, the Vampire Book. And, I mean, I've never heard of this Monster Fantasy. But I was like, it's got, you know, it's got to be worth picking up for three bucks. You know, because I packaged these. I was like, let me give, make a package deal. Let me give you a package. And she's like, okay. And she went for it. She said, yeah, go ahead. She said, I've sold. She said you should have been here earlier. She said, you probably would have bought more off me. And I was like, i got a limited budget, man. I, you know, I'm trying to, I wish I did have more. And because, you know, but I'm saving up for Heroes Con. And I'm like, i got to watch my budget. Now, this is what shocks me that this, the guy never bought this. Star Wars. The Empire Strikes Back Marvel Super Special Magazine. Number 16. Now, this is in beautiful shape. Immaculate. She had these in she had these in bags wrapped, and she said, "I made sure to take care of these." She said, "I made sure it, they wouldn't breathe hard," and you know she's really particular. She's like really watching her stuff good, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna pick this one up. Another big one I picked up. Now this magazine is just big. The su screening superstore Star Wars, the full story, the making of, you know, the whole thing, and this is just cool. I mean, this this is it, it too is in beautiful shape. Like it just was just printed. I know they're about thirty years old, thirty forty years old. But I mean, it's just it's a big it's a bigger magazine. I'm glad I had two of these big bag boards, and I I have one left now. But it come in handy keeping it. Another one now is Famous Monsters, Star Wars Spectacular. Over sixty photos. And with Star Wars Episode Seven coming from Disney soon, it's it, you know. I expect people will be trying to demand to watch the original Star Wars. So, this one, you know, this this it shocked me. It would be there for three dollars, and it too is in beautiful shape. Another one I picked up is this famous Monsters of Filmland 1969 horror fear book. I have no clue what the number is. It's just a special issue, and it's beautiful. Except down here, there's little spots down here. But beyond that, I mean, I'm not going to complain. I mean. Three dollars for old famous monsters of film land. You can't beat that. And you'll see in clips of Mad Monster Party when we discuss it. I tried to find some famous monsters of film land, and I could. The guy, you know, they had them priced so high you could not afford them. And you know, it's just sad. But the lady here was just selling these for just, you know. Here's another one: Famous Monsters of Film Land 159 with an alien. And it, you know, all three dollars a piece, just three dollars. She's just, you know, so I got about eleven issues here. So that's one fifty nine, and here's one thirty eight with R two D two, another Star Wars, and this one's a big, thick size book, and it's in great shape. You know, it's you. It shocked me to be this old and being, because usually these famous monsters of film land are not in good shape when you see them, but these were. These was in immaculate shape to be at a flea market. Here is number 92, and I know Eddie, Eddie is just salivating, my friend Eddie is just salivating at these monsters of film land, and he's probably going to, you know, like, I'm going to get those off of you, I got a trade, he's he's probably looking to get them, it's going to be hard to part with them, yeah. like, I mean, they're just, I mean, the price I paid for them, and the great shape they're in, I mean, the way she had them, now, this is Famous Films, number two, Curse of Frankenstein, Horror of Dracula. I believe Eddie has this. I believe he has this one. He'll tell me in this video comments. Or he'll tell me on Facebook. And moving on, I got Castle of Frankenstein, number 22. And this was the Exorcist cover. I mean, this was creepy. This is one I actually almost let go. And I was like, oh, no, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. And I'm kind of glad I did. And the last one, but not least, of my haul today... And Eddie has this issue because he showed it to me because he had it signed by George Romero. Stephen King's Creep Show. Yep, this is a first printing too, and this is in immaculate shape. I mean, this was it. Sh it shocked me that these would be at a flea market in such beautiful shape to be 30 or 40 years old. But this lady had them there. She was, and it just really makes me wonder what else she had that she sold because she sold three or four bags of them. She said some guy come by and bought. 
two bags of it, and another one bought some, and I was like, oh, man. It makes me wonder what exactly she had, and what I, you know, what I could have missed out on, but I'm kind of happy with what I picked up, with the Star Wars books and the famous monsters of Filmland. I'm kind of glad I got these, but this is my haul today, and I hope y'all enjoy them, and I know I am. I'm, I mean, this is probably one of the best hauls I've had in quite a while. And this will probably, this might do me until Heroes Con. This, this will probably be the best haul I'll get until Heroes Con, so. The videos you'll see later coming is from back in March and April, so. take Keep that in mind. These are not in May. This is the latest one in May. But the videos that you're going to see, the rest of Eddie's haul at the March 9th at Roanoke Valley, that's going to be, that's from back in March. The next videos you're going to see is the Mad Monster Party that we went to. That's, that happened in late March. You might see some videos in April. But this right here is probably, this is the, this is brand new. This just happened today. May, I think it's May 5th or 6th. Or I, think it's, I think it's May 5th. May 5th, 2013. So this video is going to come out live right now. And I hope you enjoy it, and comment if you can. Later, guys.